reusability and innovation will conquer Mars. Keeping costs down will make it viable, and making it doable is innovation. That's something that SpaceX is founded on. Their BFR is the direct Mars transport system, from liftoff on a reusable booster, a short time parked in low Earth orbit for a fuel top up, then direct to Mars and a three month cruise, then landing directly on the surface of the red planet, ready to be refueled from local resources for the return journey, landing back on Earth in the one reusable spacecraft. and beyond. NTP is powered by nuclear fission. How it works is conceptually simple. Energy from fission is used to heat a hydrogen propellant to about 2420 degrees Celsius. This hydrogen is then accelerated through an exhaust nozzle, resulting in a propellant efficiency roughly twice that of the best chemical rocket engines. For example, it may be possible to fuel modern NTP systems with low enriched uranium instead of highly enriched. The physical size of an NTP engine is largely determined by the rate at which fission energy can be transferred to the hydrogen propellant. But the equivalent volume of the uranium that would be split is actually quite small, roughly that of a toy marble. Getting travelers to Mars faster, NTP can take months off the trip compared to using traditional chemical systems. This would reduce the need for payload, food and power for the crew, minimizing the risks associated with exposure to galactic cosmic radiation, microgravity and other hazards of deep space travel. The maturation of nuclear thermal propulsion will also promote the successful development of the kilopower fission power systems for use on the Moon, Mars and other destinations as a main source in situ for life support, communication, industrial and other diverse applications. Harnessing first-generation NTP systems is a first step towards advanced nuclear propulsion systems capable of travel throughout the solar system. 